Hey Aquarius, welcome to the channel. Welcome back. Thanks so much for joining me. I do appreciate you guys. All right, y'all. Take what resonates. Leave what doesn't. Flip it if you need to. It could be past, present, or future energy. Let's see what's going on. We're doing a very quick reading. We're under four minutes today. Who's missing you? Who's thinking about you? Past, present, future energy. All right. Someone you have a lot of chemistry with. We start with chemistry. I have never felt a passion this intense. Some of you, this is a fire sign, a Leo, Aries, or a Sagittarius. Let's get three cards for you. Past energy. Wow, Leo. Mm. This could be somebody that you had a, an altercation with, a fight with, an argument with over maybe the last five days. That's possible. It doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be a Leo. It doesn't have to be the last five days. But in the past, this is someone you clash with a lot. You had a lot of arguments with. Um, this person could be very combative. Combative. They like to argue and fight whoever they are. <laughs> Present energy. We have the temperance. So now they want to make peace with you. It could be a Sagittarius. Some of you, over the next 14 days, you will hear from this person. This person wants to make peace with you. Um, the way they're feeling about you now is that they want to take it slow. They want to do things in baby steps. They want to harmonize and balance this relationship. Okay, this is about somebody realizing when they're taking things too far. So maybe in the past, this person struggled with knowing where that line was or crossing it. But now it's like this person is trying to grow up. They're trying to move slower and in the right direction. Okay. Some of you, this is a soulmate. Oddly enough, the temperance card is one of the major arcana that rules over the number five. We started with the five of wands. The fives are about conflicts. They're usually about a change that could be more of a negative change right a more problematic or um uncomfortable change so the this is the number 14 which reduces to five which is the number of conflict in the tarot however the temperance card is about finding peace after conflict so this person's nature is to be kind of hot-headed whoever they are but they're trying to find that balance let's see what's happening in the future we have the King of Swords. Some of you is another air sign, a Libra Aquarius or Gemini. Strong Aquarius coming through here as the King of Swords. All right. So for some of you in the future, there's some honest communication coming in. King of Swords is someone who lets you know where you stand. You won't be in the dark. You won't be confused. Um, I think there's a lot of passion between you and this person. We started with chemistry. We got the five of wands. This could be someone who... who even is very defensive over you. They could be very protective. Um, but I do feel like this is a person who in the future is going to want to be a stable partner for you. King of Swords is a good partner. He's a great partner. He's fair. He's honest. He treats you right. He values you. He respects you. He respects honesty. Um, while the Emperor here, Aries energy. So yeah, they definitely represent both authority figures. This could be someone in law enforcement or work for government or something like that. This person is a leader, whoever they are. They have a very take charge personality. Let's get a message from them. This is someone who's relationship ready with that emperor. I like the future energy. And that's, that's the number four, the emperor, which represents stability. This is divine masculine energy. It represents a father figure, represents someone who wants to provide and protect you. I told you this person could be very protective, willing to fight for you at any time. They're going to spend that block. Let's see. A message from a this person. I am going through a roller coaster of emotions and I won't admit it. Mm. So that's what they want you to know. We're going to leave it there. Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks so much for joining me. Peace, y'all.